Hello and welcome to the first in a new weekly series from Caterer Middle East, taking you through some of the bigger stories to hit the F&B industry in the past week. Your guides on this culinary news journey will be me, Simon Ritchie, editor of Caterer Middle East, and Claudia DeBrito, a former editor of Caterer and the current editor of Middle East Beauty. Let's open up with some positive news about the industry. Don't worry, we'll get to the doom and gloom later. Figures released by the Dubai Department of Economic Development show that there are now almost 11,000 restaurants and cafes operating in the Emirate. That's an increase of 100 restaurants on the previous year. After numerous false starts, had confirmation of a new branch of the main oyster bar opening in Dubai. It's something that's been talked about for well over a year, with Abu Dhabi previously expected to host the new venue. But now founder Joey Gazal has confirmed on Instagram that Main Street Eatery, as it's to be called, will open in Studio City in February. And I have discovered through some extensive investigative journalism. You've been on his Instagram feed, haven't you? Yes, I have. But there, will, there is a third main outlet in the pipeline, and that will be opening downtown soon. Staying on that side of town, uh, One Life Kitchen has reopened in D3 after an extensive refurbishment. Uh, the new venue has doubled its space with a second floor, and there's now a coffee window. Fantastic. Yeah, go right up and get a cup. Also in the past week, Claudia and I have been speaking with everyone's favourite Singaporean chef, Reef Otman of Play, Zuma and The Experience fame. Yes, while you may not have heard much from Reef recently as he has spent the last year overseeing the Sumasan properties in places like London, Moscow and Monaco, he is returning to Dubai with a bang in 2019. Yes, he is. Uh, he's already hosted a pop-up at High Joint and he's set for three more special appearances in homegrown Dubai concepts at the end of January, start of February. You'll find him at Craft Cafe, Slab and Waka in the coming weeks. So check Cater Middle East for all the details. Oh, and he did tell us as well that the experience will definitely be making a comeback mm -hmm. in some form in 2019. So keep an eye out for that. I've heard it's quite an experience. What? What? That was good. <laughs> now, of course, it wouldn't be Dubai if we didn't have a high-profile casualty to tell you about. Sean Connolly at Dubai Opera is no more. Yes, it seems the fat lady has sung for the last time at the Opera House, and the British-born chef has made his exit after just 16 months. There's no official word yet on what will replace it. However, some online links now take you to the website for a restaurant called The Loft at Opera, so we are putting our money on that. And we'll now end on some excellent news for the food industry as a whole. A picture of an egg has become the most liked image on Instagram. <laughs> yes, well, with well over 38 million likes at the time of this video, it's comfortably beaten the previous record of 18 million that was had held by Kylie Jenner. Mm. You must be yoking. <sighs> The person behind the image which poached the title from Jenna is unknown, but we salute them. That's all for this week from me, Simon Ritchie. And me, Claudia DeBrito. Uh, but you can keep up to date with daily news from the industry at cateringmiddleeast.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time. Now, do you think all the likes on that egg picture were organic? You know, like organic, like free range. Yeah, yeah. No, Claudia, we, Claudia.